एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो विल बी लुकिंग इन टू हाउ वी कैन इम्प्लीमेंट वेब सर्चिंग टूल यूजिंग एन एजेंटिक फ्रेमवर्क इन वन ऑफ द प्रीवियस वीडियोज वेर वी हैव सीन द री एक्ट दैट इज रीजनिंग एंड एक्शन एजेंट देर वी हैव इम्प्लीमेंटेड अ सिंपल एजेंटिक फ्रेमवर्क एंड वी हैव सीन हाउ री एक्ट वर्क ऑन टॉप ऑफ दैट इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो आई विल बी सिंपली explain you how we can implement web search in the agentic framework this would be a simple web searching tool it won't have any other routings it will simply take the query and it will search it on the web and whatever result it will get the llm will simply extract the meaningful or i would say the useful relevant answer for that particular query our main focus would be implementing the web searching tool from scratch and then we'll also look into some other web searching tool which are really very helpful so without further delay let's start so first we have simply initialized our model into an llm object now i am using the hugging face api in that i am using metalama 3 8 billion instruct model and with the help of the hugging face endpoint which we have from the langchain.llms i have simply converted the endpoint url into an object so that we can use this object into our agentic flow so let's execute this now we'll have to create a web searching tool but before that we'll also have a look into what api we are using for it searching on the web we are using duckduckgo search it's a free api which is provided by the duckduckgo browser and we can use it so let me show you how we can implement it how we can use it let's see with the help of this simple code so we have a python package named duckduckgo_search from this will be importing the ddgs library and if you don't have this package installed then you can simply pip install duckduckgo underscore search now what we'll do is we'll simply call this class ddgs dot now inside this class we have a parameter or i would say a function text which takes the query that we want to search for and it also takes the maximum results that we want to fetch so this will define the total number of pages or i would say the urls from which you need to access from which you need to access the data for now let's take it as 5 and let's store it in a variable results i'll simply define a query what is the capital of india now let's execute this and let's also try to print the results variable see we have got the results the title is so in all we have got five web pages now i hope you have understood how we can simply search on the web with the help of this particular duckduckgo search api it's so simple now we'll be creating a tool with this since we are going to create this tool from scratch we'll be simply importing langchain dot tools will import the base tool now we'll define a class named web search we'll extend the base tool over here now inside this tool i already have told you what we have to define we have to define name we have to define the description of that particular tool so that the agent will understand or i would say the llm will understand that what exactly is the use of this particular tool it reads this particular description and name based on which that particular tool will be chosen so we'll be defining the name and the description let's write the name of the type string and we'll write it as a web search thing tool next we'll define the description again it is of the type string use this tool to answer the user query based on web search so this is what is the description that we have defined 
and now that we have defined both the things we'll simply define the main function which is nothing but the underscore run function which automatically gets executed whenever this particular tool has got called so this particular function takes self by default then it takes the query because we want to search for the query we have to search for the relevant result for this particular query that the user is going to input next what we'll do we already have implemented this particular thing we'll copy this let me remove it from here and here we'll paste it now obviously over here you can see we are getting the results in the form of a list and we cannot pass a list to the llm we, the llm can take string so for that we'll have to format this particular input now while passing on the input we can have the title href that is the url and the body of all the results but for now i just want the title and the body for each result I can simply combine all of them into one paragraph which is obviously of the type string and that will be passing on to the LLM. So for doing that we'll simply write a simple logic, we'll define an empty string, say all results. Now since the results that we are getting from the DuckDuckGo search is in the form of a list, we can simply iterate over them. So for i in range length of the results what i'll do is i'll write search underscore results equals so this is a temporary variable that i'm going to use so it will contain results of i of title because i want to fetch the title with that i also want to fetch the body so i'll write this so whenever one particular result is chosen its title and its body will get extracted and will be joined and it will be stored in the variable search underscore result and obviously after storing it in this particular temporary variable we'll simply append it in this particular variable all underscore results which will be containing the information about all the five web pages so now we'll write all underscore results plus equals search results and then we'll simply put a slash n just to put a separator so that the llm will understand that all these five different things are actually separate and finally we'll return this particular all results now we have defined this particular tool i hope there is no single doubt in definition of this particular tool we have seen it from scratch now once we have defined the tool we'll simply create an object of that particular tool so let me do that let's execute this cool now next thing what we're going to do is we'll now initialize the agent so from langchain dot agents we'll simply import the agent type because we want to access a particular type of agent next we also want the initialize agent next what i'll do is i'll simply define the tools list for now we only have one single tool that is web underscore tool next i'll define the agent so i'll use this initialize underscore agent class inside this i'll define some parameters so i'll define list of tools first so that is in the variable tools next the llm which is stored in the variable llm itself let me show you that yeah next the agent type which is nothing but from the agent type class dot react docs store we are going to use we'll also define the maximum number of iteration that we have to perform over here and then we'll also define verbose as true because i want to see what exactly happens at the back end how the agent thinks reason and observe 
So let's execute this. I'll simply run this particular agent. So I'll write agent dot run. And inside this, I can ask a query. So I just want to ask a query whose answer the LLM doesn't have, which means something which is real time, something which has emerged latest. So if I ask something like this, what is today's date? I hope the large language model wouldn't have the answer of this. But if I search it on web, it will obviously give me the result. So let's ask this. What is today's date? Let's execute this. You can see it has entered the executor chain. And the input is this. The tool it has called is web searching tool. Now one thing I want to explain you is that since we don't have any other tool over here, we only have one single tool that is web searching tool. The LLM will by default use this particular tool because it has no choice. But when you add more than one tool, it will automatically choose the appropriate and I would say the most relevant tool and it will fetch the result. So with this, I can also have a rag tool or I can have some other custom tools that, that I can define. From all the list of tools, the agent will properly pick what tool it requires and it will do the further process. Okay, let's come back to the question. What is today's date was our question. So it has got this particular results from the web and it has properly formatted it. You can see it has jotted down the title with the body. Similarly for the other chunks. Next. It has given a thought that I now know the final answer and the final answer it has given is that the current date is 17th Jan 2025. The web search has got implemented successfully and we also have integrated it as a web searching tool in our agentic flow. So I hope this thing is clear to you all how we can integrate web search in our tools or I would say in our agentic framework. Let me ask one more query. So if I execute this, let's check. Okay, over here it has fetched the relevant information over here about the cache augmented generation. Let's see what output it gives. See, it has given the output. Cache augmented generation is a method that uses the extended context window of large language model to preload the relevant resources and cache runtime parameters. So it has given the proper results. And one thing I would like to make sure to you all that this is very important. Whatever you define over here, it has to be properly written. Because based on this only the LLM will understand and use this tool effectively. Otherwise, you won't get proper results. So make sure the description and the name has to be properly written. Now we have seen this particular custom tool calling of web search. We'll see one more way of searching on the web. This time I'll show you a paid API, which is not fully free. For the very first time, it gives you thousand hits free. After that, it will charge you. The name of the web searching tool here is Tavili search. So this is the website of it, tavili.com. It's a very powerful searching tool, I would say, because it also has the capability to generate directly the answer from the relevant result that you get. So if you don't have an account, you can simply sign up and create an account. I already have created one. So this is my account. And inside this, you can see if you scroll down, you get this particular API key. Now you just have to copy this particular API key and you can simply come back to the VS code. So before using the Tavili search API, we have to set the environment variable. So the name of the variable has to be strictly this Tavili underscore API underscore key. Next, you just have to paste whatever key you have copied from that particular website, paste it here and execute this. Once your environment variable is set, you are now good to go for accessing the API. 
So I've imported from LangChain Community Tools. I've imported the Tavily Search Results class. In this class, we have certain parameters. You can have a look at their documentation. The important parameters are maximum results, which we want. For now, I have just defined it as five. And then the search depth parameter makes it easy for you to write how advanced search you need to perform, whether it has to be advanced, whether it has to be simple. So you can define this and let's execute this and create an object tool over here. Next, we'll simply invoke the tool that we have defined over here. So inside this, we need to pass a dictionary with the key query and the value to it as the actual query that you want to search for. So if I write what is today's date, and execute it you will get the five most relevant result you can see this particular thing over here you can simply integrate either of the two tools or you can have multiple other such tools which are open source also which are paid ones also that helps you to perform web search in your workflow so i hope integrating the web search tool calling in an agentic framework or a workflow is clear to you all. I hope you don't have any doubts in this. And if you have, then you can straight away put it in the comment section. I'll be happy to solve it. If you guys love this particular video, then please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also hit the bell icon and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Please join me on Telegram. Thanks for watching. Have a good day ahead.